Here we go with a detailed look at the Nike Epic React Fly Knit Shoe. This to me, I guess we would say is the answer that Nike's bringing to the table for their competitors, Adidas, their Ultra Boost. It has a one-piece fly knit upper, a TPU heel counter, and then it has your Nike React foam. And I gotta say, it really, really is a comfortable shoe. And we're gonna get into a detailed look. Before we do so, please subscribe if you're new. Hit the little bell next to the subscribe button and let YouTube know. It's okay for them to let you know when I upload a new video, as ridiculous as it sounds. You also gotta hit the little bell besides hitting the subscribe button. Let's get into the shoes. We got two different colorways right here. And we're going to go with this colorway. We're going to break down this one right here. So as I was saying, it's got a fly knit upper. It's got a ton of this cushion. As you can see, it really goes up and nice and high toward the back. It even kind of goes past the upper. Kind of like what we've seen on some of the other Adidas shoes that have boost. Like the 9317, which was a great pair of kicks. You'll even see it as we look at the back. You see how the foam pops out like crazy. You have your pull straps just to help get your foot in the shoe. Always a plus. Feel like it's mandatory for shoes to have a pull strap when it comes to the runners. And then you have your TPU heel counter for support. There's a look at the medial side of the shoe. I recommend going true to size. I did try on a size nine and a half and it just was way too long. I wanted to really break this down as best as I can for consumers. Do not go up half a size. The fly knit will give in time. It's gonna fit a little narrow, but fly knit will give. So break in the shoe, go true to size. Unless you have like, you know, as I always say, that Fred Flintstone like kind of brick of a foot, then go up half a size. But if not, stay true to size. Looking at the toe, you see your lace system and then a little peekaboo inside. Looking at the outsoles, you can see a little bit of a layer on the toe right there for protection. And then you just have this foam right there, super soft. You see how my thumb is just going right into it? It's so soft. And then you have more of that protection on the heel. Now my concern about this shoe is how long will this last before you burn down that foam? Yes, you have some protection for the foam on the heel and the forefoot, but after time, I feel like it being so soft, it's gonna wear down super quick. So that is one big concern I have about this shoe. How long will this actually last? That is the big question. When it comes to actually performing in it, running in it, because I remember when the first Adidas Ultra Boost came out, I burned them things down. Like that, so that outsole, they had rubber on the outsole before you got to the foam. And those things wore out and they wore out for a lot of people to the point where if you remember when they released the next version, they did use continental rubber, which they use, you know, on tires and everything like that. So with this shoe, being that there's really no protection except on the forefoot and the heel of the outsole, are these going to burn out pretty quick? I have a feeling they will until I wear them for a long period of time. You just never know, but it is definitely a red flag for people that are looking for a runner on a regular basis. For someone that's just gonna wear them casually, I think you will be fine, but still you just never know because it, there's no protection. It's the same soft kind of foam that you got on the midsole. So that's just the one red flag I have about this shoe. Now looking on foot, these things look fantastic. I mean, that's my personal opinion. You may disagree with me and that's totally fine. I'm definitely not trying to sell you the shoe. You know, I'm not getting sponsored by Nike to show you guys this. This is me showing you the shoe as a consumer. You know, I just want to try to give you guys a look because I feel like this is the next wave. I feel like a lot of people are really curious about this one. And I, I'm just trying to be as honest as possible. They are very comfortable. I mean, if you're thinking about buying them, I think you should buy them. The retail is $150, so it's a lower price point than Boost. These shoes are super comfortable and they look great on feet, so I definitely recommend them. And of course, you know I gotta hit you with that infamous burp, 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 burp bird's eye view. <laughs> oh man, we just having fun here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for tuning in. I'll put more information on these shoes in the description box below. 
And I apologize always telling you in the beginning of the videos to hit the bell for people that watch all my vids. I really hope that's not annoying. I just got to do it because of the fact that YouTube is really, in my opinion, and this is not facts, I feel like they pick and choose who they want to push as far as two subscribers. I have so many subscribers. They're not dead subscribers. And not everyone's getting notified when I upload a new video. So, you know, I have to do that. And uh, I hope you guys understand. I think all my diehard supporters will understand that, you know, it's just something I got to do. I got to tell people, hit the bell. And, of course, I'm going to tell people to subscribe because I'm sure there's people that are new to the channel that's never checked out any of my videos. So, welcome. And I hope you check out more of my vids. We're almost at 2,000 videos this channel is one of the first YouTube channels to ever review sneakers. Definitely the first five people on YouTube to review shoes. And it's still running. The only person I know that's as consistent as me from the beginning is Jumpman Bostic. Shout out to him. Because of this whole thing with YouTube, I am venturing off, but I'm still going to be here. So no worries for the diehards. I will still be posting videos daily. But for people that love what I do and want more, that are even subscribed to my vlog channel over at The Dell Show, I do have a Patreon, patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. The first podcast will be up Saturday or Sunday. I'm aiming for Saturday evening, and it's going to be an hour long. I will release a new podcast over at patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. Every single week, you will get four podcasts, and you will be entered into a giveaway. It'll either be a sneaker accessory, a gift card. If someone's into other stuff like WWE collectibles, I will do a WWE collectible giveaway. Or if you're into Funko Pops, I have tons of Funko Pops. May do that. Depending on whoever wins, I will give them the option to pick what their prize will be. Plus, if you're a Patreon member... I also will shout out your channel, of course. I've had a bunch of YouTubers that have joined, so it'll be good promotion for you guys too, ladies too, if you have a YouTube channel. It's $5 a month. You're going to get over four hours of content. I think that it's well worth it, and basically that $5 is just going to help me with the server with uploading my podcast, to be honest with you, because I have to pay for that. So I hope more people join. I've had a good amount of people join this week, but I would love you guys to join today. So definitely please do so. I have so many sneaker videos to upload. I have about four new Jordans that are coming out that I will upload. That They're pretty dope. I got to say, I'm pretty impressed with the upcoming Jordan releases. And I hope that um, you guys stay tuned and watch all the videos because I do this for you guys. I do it for the sneaker culture. I have such a big passion for sneakers. I love them. And I will always be on YouTube no matter if, you know, I have ads or not because of the ad apocalypse. Yes, I lost a lot of money because YouTube just doesn't put ads on. But I never made money when I first started and I never planned on making money in the beginning. So... You know, as much as it sucks, you know, I have a family and whatnot. YouTube is not my main income. So, like, it shouldn't be anyone's main income. Just a tip for YouTubers out there, you know. Um, <laughs> you can make tons of money and then it could just, just crumble, you know. And that's just how it works. If you want steady money, get yourself a steady job. <laughs> a 9 to 5 or whatever the hours are. Uh, I'm just vibing, you know, uh, kind of what the podcast will be, but there'll be a lot of different topics. When you join the Patreon, you also become a producer of the podcast, and there will be a feed where you can let me know what you would like me to speak about. So if you join right now, look for that feed, and let me know what you want me to speak about next, and I definitely will talk about it. If you leave your comment the next day, You'll get on this upcoming podcast. I'm rambling. Thanks for tuning in. Much love. Shout out to everyone also that's been picking up the sneaker attic t-shirts. Fits true to size. That will be linked in the description box below. If you own these shoes too, let me know if you love them or hate them. Leave your comments. Are you thinking about picking them up? I love reading the comments. I read all of them. So go ahead. And if you hate them, dog them. Go in. If you hate me, go in. Dog me. I don't care. Write something. I love reading it all. We out.